we got in a little problem with rent and stuff like that. We're scared to death. We can't even keep our house warm because we don't have money for oil. Crazy. We came down here as a family and then we we're gonna be broken up individually. I have to go to one facility and her and the kids go to another facility. I mean, everything just like hit at once with the unemployment and uh, her losing her job, daughter having a baby. And I mean, it was just like, it was overwhelming. There's myself, my husband and my grandson sleeping in a garage or sitting out back in a mosquito infested yard. Not believing that that could happen, I mean, and as quickly as it did. It was a very bad situation for me and my son. It was you know, verbal abuse, physical abuse, and I knew that I could not subject myself or my son. I had became lost in the situation. I really didn't recognize myself anymore, the person that I used to be. It's job loss. It might be some catastrophic event, like a divorce, a fire, um, suddenly becoming a widow. It takes a while, I think, for a family to realize they're in need to go into some sort of program and totally throw up their hands and say, we can't do this alone anymore. It's families experiencing homelessness. It's not homeless families. It's a circumstance. It's, our families are so much more than just what they're going through. They have skills, they have college degrees, they may have owned homes before. We have over 30 congregations um, and these people give up their time freely, their money freely, um, because it's the right thing to do. We, we as um, affluent Americans can take so much for granted and our priorities, our perspective gets skewed. The unity of the church really shines through when people from different denominations, different backgrounds, um, come together and are united in service. And we were looking for a way to serve the greater community, not just as individual houses of worship, but together as a larger faith community. These are families. These are individuals who are no different from the people who fill our pews. When we work with Family Promise, not only do we see what these families are going through, we see the real people themselves. People work together and they come together with a, with a common purpose. And people that barely know each other that say hello in church on Sunday morning will serve a meal together. They provide us with food, a place to sleep, a lot of volunteers was coming in and help us with our resume, finding jobs, and it was great. They took everything off of us, worrying about where to stay, um, food, anything. I mean, they basically let me focus on what I had to do. They never let up on me. They're, they went through the emails and anything that they find as new job affairs and programs, they always like push, push, pushing you to better yourself and to really make it and to go out there to, you know, find other resources. If there's a need, I can, I can drive the van, I can stay overnight, um, I can help with the meal, I can be one of the hosts and just, you know, be friendly with these families. These people need help, you know, they need something that I can offer. Trust in other people. I, 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 I realize that um, there's people out there that will help you. We have a nice three bedroom house for renting right now, but it's a nice three bedroom house. I'm at a job now, which I acquired when I was here. I've been promoted once with two raises. I knew that somebody for once cared about me. 
they cared about my situation and me and my child, what we were going through. And it touched me in a way that I have never in the 40 years of my life have ever been touched. They're no different than us. Um, so if we can help them out, you know, there's been opportunities in my own life where people have helped me out. Um, like tables turn, we might all be on the other side and we would need, um, you know, a hand to, to help us out. The only time you're supposed to look down on someone is when you're reaching out a hand to lift them up.